Hi friends, welcome to my channel Interesting Engineering. Today we shall discuss about calibration of ammeters and voltmeters. So far we have already discussed what's a ammeter, what's a voltmeter, what's the principle of operation of ammeter and voltmeter and what are all the types of uh, instruments available. So before making use of any instrument we must check for its accuracy. That is, we must uh, check whether the instrument is working properly or not. So, for that purpose, we go for calibration. So, calibration is nothing but it's a method of comparing the measurement of any instrument with its known standard. It's meant for checking the accuracy of any instrument. So, uh, in general, calibration is nothing but uh, we make use of comparison technique to check the accuracy of any instrument. So, uh, while comparing, we go for a standard. So, uh, whatever may be the instrument we are going to make use of, that it has to be check, uh, checked for its accuracy. And uh, for checking, we uh, make use of a standard instrument. So, the uh, instrument is being compared with a standard instrument. And when the uh, readings of those two instruments uh, cor uh, correlates, uh, then it is said to be more accurate. Suppose if there is any deviation, then it will be corrected. So, for that purpose, we go for calibration method. So, calibration is nothing but a method of comparing a, a, a instrument's measurement with a, a standard instrument's measurement. Suppose if it uh, correlates, then it is more, uh, said to be more accurate. Suppose if there is any deviation, it is then corrected. Then only we make use of any instrument for our measurement purpose. In the same way, ammeters and voltmeters are also compared and checked for its accuracy and then it's made use of for our measurement purpose. So, let's see about uh, calibration of ammeters first. So this is a uh, uh, this is a uh, design. This is a uh, specific uh, method we are going to make use of for uh, calibrating any ammeter. So in general, any instrument, either it may be ammeter or voltmeter, the potentiometer is made use of for uh, calibrating those instruments. So uh, here. Potentiometer is used to calibrate an ammeter. So, uh, when we uh, look at our diagram first, so here we go for a stabilized DC source and it is passed through the ammeter. So, due to the DC source, that is the input provided here, that flows uh, current into the ammeter. So, uh, the ammeter represents the amount of uh, current flowing through the circuit. So, uh, that is the measurement of this ammeter and uh, to calibrate this ammeter, we make use of a, a potentiometer here. So, here we make use of a standard resistor and across this resistor, a potentiometer is being connected here. So, uh, the current flowing through this potentiometer is being measured by means of this potentiometer. So, here uh, already we have one measurement that is the ammeter reading is a, a test measurement and this is a standard measurement here. Since this is a standard resistor used here, we, uh, the measurement obtained will also be more uh, standardized. So, uh, whatever... Uh, 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 value that is obtained here that is we, uh, we could uh, able to achieve uh, current value here that is the uh, voltage value here so uh, so when we look at uh, this arrangement here we make use of a potentiometer so this potentiometer uh, reading will be in terms of volts and this uh, based on this volts uh, uh, we can able to calculate the current by means of using the formula i is equal to v by r so just have a look over here uh, so let's 
so here we make use of a potentiometer so this potentiometer uh, uh, will measure in terms of volts so uh, here we make use of a uh, standard resistor so since we have volts and uh, resistance value we can calculate i by means of i is equal to v by r so uh, here we could able to have a uh, i value that is current value so this is a standard value and with this standard value we are going to compare then the current value obtained in this ammeter so uh, if there is any deviation between these two we need to correct this ammeter measurement by means of some sort of arrangement that is meant, uh, for that purpose we have rheostats here so this rheostat is uh, for coarse adjustment and this rheostat is meant for fine adjustment so uh, in general we have a stabilized dc source so uh, from this dc source there uh, flows current and uh, since this ammeter is connected in series over here the amount of uh, current entering here will be uh, represented will be uh, denoted by means of this ammeter and uh, this ammeter reading we are going to compare this ammeter reading with a standard reading so for the standard measure we make use of a standard resistor and with this resistor is connected across a potentiometer so this potentiometer measures the amount of voltage drop across this resistor and uh, by means of formula i is equal to v by r we can able to calculate the current through this resistor so this current value is a standard one and this standard current value will be compared with this ammeter uh, value so suppose if this ammeter value deviates from this current value it has to be adjusted so for that adjustment purpose we have two rheostats here one is for coarse adjustment and then the other one is for fine adjustment by means of which we can able to uh, correct the deviations correct the errors in this ammeter so by uh, this is a method for calibrating a ammeter here so calibration is nothing but comparing the uh, instrument's value with the standard one suppose if there is a deviation that instrument's value will be corrected by means of uh, some sort of adjustments so this is arrangement meant for calibrating an ammeter so i have written in uh, here the description of uh, working of that arrangement so potentiometer is used to calibrate an ammeter standardized dc supply provides the required voltage level and the current corresponding to the input voltage is indicated by means of ammeter a resistor is connected in series with the ammeter and the voltage across the resistor is measured using the potentiometer from which the value of current through the resistor is calculated using the equation i is equal to v by r the calculated current is compared with the current through the meter and is then corrected using two rheostats provided in the arrangement so this is the method meant for calibrating an ammeter then we shall see about calibration of voltmeter so as i said earlier calibration is nothing but comparing the instrument value instrument reading with the standard measurement so here also we, are, we have a stabilized dc supply so this stabilized dc supply provides the uh, voltage input into this arrangement so here also we have two rheostats for our adjustment purpose and uh, uh, always in any circuit the voltmeter will be connected in parallel with the arrangement so here we have a uh, voltmeter which is under uh, comparison which is under calibration and uh, for our calibration purpose we need a standard value also so for that purpose uh, we have a potentiometer over here which uh, provides a, a output which is a stand, uh, standardized 
which is a standardized output so here the stabilized dc source will be providing a input uh, supply and that input supply is measured by means of this voltmeter so this voltmeter value uh, has to be compared with the stabilized standardized value so which is obtained by means of this potentiometer output so here we connect a potentiometer over here so this potentiometer output is being compared with this voltmeter output so uh, here i have included a voltage ratio box this is meant for eliminating any sort of voltage developed by means of this voltmeter so whatever input we are providing here that has to reach this potentiometer uh, so that our uh, uh, for that purpose we make use of this volt ratio box which uh, eliminates any sort of uh, voltage developed in between these elements so uh, here by means of this potentiometer output we compare it with this voltmeter output suppose if the voltmeter output deviates from the potentiometer output there needs uh, some sort of adjustment so for that purpose we uh, provide two adjustments two rheostats here so this rheostat is meant for coarse adjustment and this rheostat is meant for fine adjustment by means of which we can able to uh, correct this voltmeter output depending upon the potentiometer output so that we can able to correct we can able to calibrate this voltmeter so this is a method meant for calibrating a voltmeter so in general we provide a stabilized input here the stabilized input is meant for avoiding any sort of fluctuations uh, reaching the voltage voltmeter so here we are providing a stabilized input so that input is being measured by means of voltmeter and uh, this voltmeter uh, output has to be compared with the standard output for which we make use of a potentiometer here the potentiometer measures the voltage uh, from uh, voltage that is uh, developed by means of the stabilized dc supply so this output is being compared with this output suppose if this output deviates it is being adjusted by means of these two rheostats so uh, this is about the calibration of voltmeter so uh, look at here a stabilized dc source is provided to the meter under calibration voltmeter indicates the amount of voltage provided by the source volt ratio box reduces the voltage from the voltmeter potentiometer measures the potential and it is compared with the meter reading and if there occurs deviation it is adjusted using the rheostats so these are all the methods for available for calibrating a ammeter and voltmeter so this is about calibration so with this uh, the first chapter in the electrical measurement has been covered so for uh, the next uh, chapter we shall go for next chapter in our forthcoming videos so uh, in our next video let's discuss about electrodynamometer type watt meter so for more videos keep watching please subscribe and share thanks for watching